All right, my lawn garden friends, you join me on another cracker day here in Brisbane. We've got another somewhat warm day around the 30, 31 degrees, but thankfully we get a breeze most of the time coming through the day to cool us down. But anyway, we're back here at a property that we've done a renovation on. If you've missed that renovation, make sure you jump back on the channel um, and go and check that out on how to renovate a cooch lawn. But today, we're not here doing a renovation, but we are here to do the hedges you can see behind me. So over my left shoulder is a lily pilly, and the smaller one that drops down is a maria. So we're gonna be trimming them up today. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride of doing some hedging and whatnot. If you have any questions regarding equipment I use or anything about the hedge varieties, etc., make sure you put them in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But anyway, let's get into it. So yeah, as you can see, they are well due for a trim. And that it is growing season here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Um, and everything is kicking off lovely. A little bit more rain would be nice, but still still super happy with it but anyway so that's it the sun is out it's a beautiful day let's get into some hedging Let's go in for a closer look at hedging. Tell you what, battery hedge trimmers are the go now. I mean, I loved my Shindawa extension hedge trimmer years ago when I had it, but ever since switching over to battery, like, yeah, just 10 times better for hedging. I wouldn't say battery is the best for every tool, personally, but for hedging, a definite yes. No more screaming motor. You know, you can hold it at the end 
and reach right out without getting any burnt hands on an exhaust or anything like that. Um, it's lighter, way, 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 way less noise, um, you know, and that. So yeah, definitely recommend. If you haven't switched over to battery hedging, definitely recommend it. When I did it, it was a game changer. I was like, oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Um, definitely recommend the Still. Great product. This is the Still HLA 86. We'll do a review on that soon. But anyway, let's keep going. All right guys, quick pro tip. Um, thought I'd add some tips into this video just to help you guys out who are learning to hedge properly and just want to learn some tips and tricks to making hedging easier. So an easy way to clean up or, you know, in this case, the garden bed has fresh mulch on it. We don't want the leaves landing on the mulch. So what we do is use the tarp. So put a tarp down and just hedge everything onto the tarp. You can wrap the tarp up, take the stuff away. Super easy. So yeah, quick tip, get yourself a tarp. Don't get it too massive because in the windy days, you'll be, you know, kicking and screaming. Um, but yeah, just get a decent sized one, uh, you know, that you can put under your hedge, utilize easy. Clippings fall onto that, wrap it up, put it in the trailer, away you go. Yeah, let's keep going. I always keep an eye out for these guys as well, especially in lily pillies and marayas, really common. So keep an eye out for these guys. We don't want to kill them. They're lovely. Say hello to the people. No, don't jump on the camera. Come back here. There you go. We'll put him on the lily pilly so I don't hit him. He can go back on to the thing. I right, say bye people. Bye. I'm just taking a little bit more off this one just to bring it down a little bit. Um, that's why I'm just getting it a bit more of a harder cut than what it needs just to bring the height down.
Alright guys, another quick tip. Just talking about these front ones here that I just nipped with the secateurs. So when you are planting a new hedge, don't leave it till it's right up to the height you want it to be to trim it. Especially if it's an area that only gets like half day of sun, etc. You want to start training your hedge as soon as it starts to show some growth. So these have been in oh, a couple of months now and they've grown up a little bit. But again, we're not wanting them to be this height. We're doing a three leveled hedge. Um, so we want it to be about halfway, but you want to start training and trimming your hedges early. And that promotes new shoots to come out and more shoots and to thicken up lower in the base. There's many people who plant hedges, wait till them to grow up to like where they want to be um, in the way of their height and then they trim them then. But all that time, well growth is all on top, ends up shading the lower section and you can't, um, and you can't get the sun through to the lower section to thicken up the lower part of the hedge. So yeah, make sure when you're doing a hedge to start trimming it early, starting to thick it up, and you'll be much more thankful and it'll be more fuller uh, come time when it's up to the growing height you want it to be. All right, let's keep going. Right, guys next tip um, you can already see how much it's picking up and collected already using the tarp so definitely an ideal way to do it when you got plants in front of you it's obviously a little bit difficult the tarp can't sit flat so you're not going to catch everything but it does catch 95% of what you're trying to do and like I said you just scoop it up chuck it in the trailer chuck it in your bin away you go next tip is for contractors if you're a new contractor or even for private homeowners as well if you are Starting a new client that has hedges, I highly recommend you do a walk through the garden and make sure there is nothing in the garden that you don't want to hit, i.e. something metal, damage your hedger blade, or a common one is irrigation. Now irrigation can sometimes hide in the garden really well and you might miss it and you might end up cutting, um, you might end up cutting the irrigation line and you don't want to do that. Um, sometimes you can end up cutting the irrigation line you wouldn't even know and the client will ring you going there's water spurting out everywhere what's going on um, and you can probably see that you've cut the line with your hedger so highly recommend do a walkthrough of the garden before you start hedging if it was a new client you're taking on um, and why I learned that is because when I first took on this property I clipped one of the spaghetti lines here now mind you the mulch we use here is a black forest mulch so and uh, irrigation line used here is black so it stood out stood in uh, it blended in really really well didn't see it and I clipped it thankfully I've always got little spare irrigation parts on the trailer for that purpose but yeah just keep an eye out do a walk through look out for people and pinpoint things that you don't want to hit and if you can remove them remove them um, if you can't obviously just be aware of them while you are hedging all right let's keep going
All right, guys, I'll stop and give you a next tip. Now, when it comes to hedging, when you're moving along, whether or you're on the face of the hedge or on top of the hedge, you always want to put your hedger on a slight angle towards the direction you are going. So on the face side here, if you're going from bottom to top, coming up the face like so, then you don't want to have it dead flat. You never want to have your hedger dead flat or parallel to the hedge. You want to have a slight angle in the direction of the way you're cutting. It just creates for easier cutting, cuts a smooth surface, and over time, it'll stop you from cutting up and out like many hedges do. You'll look at hedges and they bow out. I mean, there's another cause for that as well, but trimming is one of them. But yeah, you never want to have a flat hedge up whenever you're using it. Always do a slight angle um, in the direction you are going, especially on top. That'll help to move any of the stuff you're trimming off from off the top of the hedge onto the ground where you want it to be. Next tip. So, next tip I would give if you trim your hedge and you find you have a lot of debris sitting on top of the hedge, especially common if you are doing big hedge reductions, you'll have a lot of stuff that will get caught up in on top of the hedge and not come down when you hedge it. Now, the easy, simple trick to do to that is just shake it. Grab a, grab a part of the um, hedge at the base or halfway up reach your arm in and give it a good shake and you'll see a lot of debris fall down from the bottom and you can then collect it up from there. Just don't look up while you're doing it. Make sure you wear a wide brimmed hat like this to stop a lot of the stuff falling down on you. Um, but yeah, don't look up and if you do, keep your eyes closed or have some sunnies on. But I wouldn't recommend it. Just look down and shake, shake, shake away and you'll see the debris drop. All right, let's keep going. Next tip, sorry, hope you don't mind all the tips. That's kind of why this video is being done and also for you guys to enjoy a good hedging video. But the next tip I would say is like you just saw me do then, stop and check your levels. If you're unsure of whether you are level, um, especially with a split hedge like this where there's gaps between it, um, just trim a bit, stop, have a look, get down low, get down at the same level, see if it's aligned, if it's not, have a look at where it needs to be trimmed off go back trim that section and just keep doing that it's not a rush take your time and do it slowly um, at the end of the day once you trim something off you can't glue it back on so just make sure you take your time get down low check out the levels keep going if you need to stop if you don't need to take off anymore keep going but if you stop regularly check your levels then you'll always end up with a nice straight hedge all right let's go So that's using the top, simple as that.
All right, my friends, that is it. Let's go for a quick walk. We'll have a quick look at the finished product. Now these trees, are, I planted them sort of mid last year. They're gonna grow up tall, provide some privacy here, and we'll just continue this hedge underneath the tree, um, which will look awesome once it's growing through. But anyway, yeah, that is it. We are all done. Now I just did a quick blow down and it was really quick. And why that was? Because we used the tarp. A lot of the, um, oh, pardon me, a lot of the leaves that we trimmed fell down onto the tarp. Therefore, not much cleanup at all. So it is a clean way of doing uh, hedging if you want to try it. But yeah, I mean, just pull it out and try it. And if you like it, do it. If you don't like it, don't do it. But yeah, anyway, yeah, so we've cleaned up here. Lily Pilly is all done, as you can see along here. Now, you may have asked why I didn't tarp along here, but as you can see at my finger here, the mulch, we've still got a mulch along here. We haven't mulched here yet. Um, so I just blow that underneath, um, underneath back under the lily pilly. And yeah, another tip for that as well is don't be afraid to blow the um, leaves and trimmings back under your hedge. That just creates a natural mulch, which is absolutely fine. Um, and it'll break down all that sort of stuff. So yeah, don't be afraid to blow them back under. But yeah, we are all done at this property. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you found these tips helpful and you learned something new out of this video. If you did, make sure you press the thumbs up or if you just enjoyed a nice hedging video, then be sure to click the thumbs up on this video and share the channel out to any of your friends that might be interested in learning about their lawns and gardens. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here and we are moving on to the next day, next day, the next job. The sun is out and it is baking. Make sure you have your hat on and sunscreen and drink plenty of water as always. But anyway, my lawn gun friends, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope you have a cracker rest of your day. I hope you're staying well mentally and physically as always, and we'll see you legends in the next video.